All new at 11, as the cleanup continues in Western North Carolina tonight, a foster care organization is talking about their journey, connecting with families affected by Helene as they work to get them the essential items they need to survive. Thomas and Gail Osborne are still processing the aftermath of Helene. Hearing the stories, seeing the stories, um, talking with our families, it is so gut-wrenching. Gail and her husband aren't just foster parents. She is the executive director of Foster Family Alliance of North Carolina. Every single one of these children have experienced trauma. And then now we have this catastrophic you know, weather event that's come along and it's trauma also. She says 1,500 foster families are in need in Western North Carolina and her team is working around the clock to provide the basic needs. Some families need things like generators to keep medications, you know, chilled or to provide a oxygen machine. Gil and her husband say the challenging part of their mission is visiting families and seeing the heartbreaking reality. A lot of the places now, the, the homes are no more. Um, neighborhoods are completely destroyed. You know, playgrounds are gone. And for their own family, having to face tough questions from innocent kids. One of my children said to me, Mom, when are we going back to school? And for the first time ever, like, I I can't answer that. For now, Gail says she and her team still need help to get families essential items with the goal of providing some sense of normalcy. We're going to make it through this. It's going to be a long haul. This is... This has forever changed the surface of what Western North Carolina looks like. 